I think like almost everyone we started off writing our daily life but over the years it progressed and I become more private I do not talk a lot of my private life but more about what inspires me what I like so I think from there as I grow older the block grows as well it's a progression I never really took it very seriously, even until now, because I don't see it as work. The concept, basically I do not want to just show people pictures, pictures, but I want them hopefully to get inspired, they learn something. Like my blog, I try to teach them about products, brands that might not be available in Singapore and expose them to new brands, new products. The freedom, the freedom. Friends, <laughs> friends, people I know, people I really respect. Yeah. I lock myself up alone. I lock myself in a room, a small table. Yeah. Mostly is I walk. I. On Instagram, I see people around the world, they inspire me, their life, the things they do, the people I talk to, like everyone's inspire me, it's, my story is pieces of everyone come together. Ah! Your most favorite, most favorite thing. That you can't live without. My leather jacket. <laughs> One. The mask. Fake eyelashes. Yeah. My two dogs. My two dogs. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here a lot of times. Like, they are, Indonesia are more grungy. But Singaporeans, a lot of them are very high street. Like, top shop and everything. Yeah, but here, your support the local labels a lot more. I can feel the support. It's stronger here compared to Singapore. I think early future woman is a strong independent woman who knows exactly what she wants and they know their style. Thank you. I hope